Coming up to quarter past six. Now, spending time on the International Space Station may be an out-of-this-world experience that few of us get to try, but for those on board, there is still time for some hobbies. The NASA astronaut Kel Lindgren is a keen amateur radio enthusiast, so while he's in orbit, he likes to have a chat with people here on Earth, including an eight-year-old schoolgirl and fellow radio buff from Kent, Josie Hannett. has been to meet her. Mike Zero Lima, Mike Kilo, this is NA1SS. Welcome to the International Space Station. November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra. Mike Zero, Lima, Mike Kilo. My name is Isabella. I'm eight years old. You're five or nine. Thank you. Mike Zero, Lima, Mike Kilo, this is November Alpha 1, Sierra Sierra. Isabella, it's uh, so great to chat with you. Thank you for getting on the radio and saying hello. Thank you, Fly. Fly safe. Speaking to an astronaut live on the International Space Station might be one for the bucket list, but for eight-year-old Isabella from Broadstairs, it was a regular Tuesday. It was very amazing to talk to an astronaut, and I was amazed. It was like deja vu had come to me and granted me my wish. And when you were talking to him, what were you thinking? I was thinking, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I'm talking to someone out of the Earth's atmosphere. Her dad, Matthew, is a licensed radio amateur, and since Isabella was a toddler, this is the room they've been experimenting in broadcast together. So she's got dad to thank for the experience. I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit jealous that it wasn't me talking to him, but it was amazing seeing Isabella have that contact. It's quite unusual that the astronauts on the International Space Station actually use the amateur radio equipment, but they have been known to do it in the past. So uh, through the network and through the communities that I'm involved in, I had word that the astronaut that was up there was, was using the equipment. So we just started listening out for him. And, uh, and it's just a, a game of luck, really. You know, you have to get the right time when the space station is passing overhead, and it has to be the right time of day when the astronauts actually using the equipment. I've had that dream of becoming an astronaut for as long as I can remember. Chell Lindgren was the man in space who picked up the signal. He even tweeted Isabella to thank her, saying it may have been his favourite contact so far, and he also sent her this picture. I really want to inspire other little girls, and I want them to know that just because boys have all the space clothing doesn't mean they don't have to love space. Who knows what this pair will do next, but something tells me it's going to be out of this world. Josie Hannett, BBC News. Oh, well done, Isabella. Dream come true, she said. That is quite a shed full of kit, isn't it? Isn't it? It really is.